hi everyone welcome to key to blogging and in this video i will show you how you can use the ad inserter plugin in your wordpress website to install the adsense code so ad inserter is a very popular plugin in wordpress where you can insert the ad code to your wordpress website so let's check how you can install this plugin and set up this plugin to install the ad code so for this i have to go to my wordpress dashboard and here i will click on add new and here in the search section i will search for add inserter and here i have to install and activate this plugin so i have already installed this plugin so i will go to install plugin section and i will click on settings so here you will get 16 blocks by default and if you want to add more blocks then you can simply click on this button and here you can choose 17 to 32 so in this way you can add about 96 block which is more than sufficient so i will click on 1 to 16 and as you can see here you can paste your adsense code in the block one and here you can choose where you want to display the ad so here i have selected post so if you want to display the ad only in the post section then you can select the post one or you can select home page category page tax page static page so static page basically the pages that you have created like home about us contact us privacy policy so these are the static pages and here i have selected this inserter option so here as you can see here you will get the option like before post before content after paragraph before image after image so there is a lot of options so here i have selected after paragraph and i have selected five so my ad will show after every five paragraph so let me just go to the blog post and let me just scroll down and as you can see this one is one two three four five and the ad will show after the fifth paragraph and here you can set the alignment to center now let's click on manual and if you don't want to insert it automatically then you can simply copy the short code and use it anywhere like sidebar or post editor page editor so you can also use the short code feature and there is also a php functions so i don't generally use these options now click on device and here you will see three options desktop tablet and phone so if you want to exclude it from tablet and phone then you can simply uncheck these two options and simply put the desktop one so the ad code will only load in the desktop version so here you can change show to insert so the ad code will only insert in the desktop one and if you want to show option then the ad will show only in desktop but will load in every devices so i don't want that so i can simply just select insert and select any one of the option or you can select all the options now let's click on miscellaneous and here you can support emp pages and you can also use insert for all users or you can also use it for login users or not login users so if you don't want to see ads on your own then you can simply select the non login users so that all the admins will exclude it and admin will not show the ads so i will select all users and let's click on filter and you can also use filter insertion or you can use any of these option like post counter php function call but these are some advanced options so i don't use that and let's click on display and here you can also simply put a ad level so it will set a ad level like advertisement above the ad so i don't generally use the ad level now let's click on general setting and you can also add a tag to remember this ad code so let's scroll down and here you can change the block name so i can change the block name to like after paragraph 5 so you can remember where the ad code will load now you can change it to block 2 and in the same way you can paste your display ad unit and here you can select after paragraph and i have selected 10 so it the ad code will load after the 10th paragraph 
so in this way you can use various blocks so let me just go to the setting first and here you will see a lot of options so let me just scroll down and here you can see disable caching for locked in admins so you can enable this option so it will not cache the add code so that you can properly view if the add code is working properly or not and all the settings are by default is ok and you can also change the ad level advertisement so you can set your own custom ad level so as i have not selected the ad level this will not show in the front end but if you are using ad level then you can use a own custom ad level here now let's click on viewpoint and it will decide the viewpoint so if you want to use custom viewpoint then you can set it the pixel here but i don't generally use that and this is also work as a header footer code manager so if you want to put any code in the header section then you can paste that code here and if you want to add some code in the footer section then you can use the code in this box now it also comes with a inbuilt ad blocker feature so if someone using ad blocker on their browser then it will detect the ad blocker and it will show a ad warning so you can enable it for all devices and click the action to pop up message so it will add a pop up message to the users who are using the ad blockers and here you can set the delay option to one page so it will delay the action so if the user visited more than one page then the pop up will show and let's scroll down and here you can add your own custom message in the pop-up box and you can also style this message box like i can set the border radius or set the border width and you can also set the width and height of the pop-up message so i think the setting is done and let me just go back to add.txt so you can also insert add.txt in your wordpress website using the add inserter plugin so if you are new to the adsense then adsense asks you to insert the add.txt file so here you can simply upload the add.txt file or edit it from here now let's click on this option this one and let's scroll down and here it will check the all available position in your theme so as i am using the cadence theme it will show where i can insert the ad code so that the ad will display properly so as you can see i can insert ad before post before content before paragraph after paragraph before image after image after content after post footer and there is no option to insert between post because this is a post and here you can insert between post in the category page or the archive pages and here you can insert between comments and after comments so let me just open an another blog post and as you can see this is the after post section and here you can also insert add after the comment or in between the comments and if you want to insert add in the sidebar then you have to use the second method so you just need to go to the add block section and here you have to click on the manual option and then copy the short code from here so let me just copy the short code from here and if i want to insert the add code in the sidebar then i can simply go to the appearance section and i will click on wizards so here click on the plus icon and search for short code and just click on the short code block and just paste the short code that we have copied from the add inserter and here i have inserted the code using a custom html block so you can directly paste the code in the sidebar so i hope you got the idea how to use the add inserter plugin in your wordpress website and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you want to temporarily disable any add unit in the website then you can simply click on the pause button and click on save button so it will pause the add code and it will stop loading the add unit in the front end so simply just save the setting and the add code will be blocked 
and it will not show in the front end. I hope you got the idea how to use the add inserter plugin in your WordPress website and insert add code in different places like after paragraph, before paragraph, after the content, before the content or after the image or up before the image or you can place add in between blog post or place add after the comments so all the section will be given here so you can select this option and place the add in different positions and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if this content is helpful to you then make sure to hit the like button and do subscribe key to blogging for more upcoming videos like this thank you